Hi Sag, I hope you're all doing well. Before we get into it, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. There may be something that's unresolved or that you have not completely like processed through or there may still be a lack of clarity. However, you may be deciding to like move on nonetheless. This can be something where like ideally maybe it would be like wrapped up in a bow. However, maybe you don't want to wait wait around long enough to see. Or maybe you feel like it's something that's just going to be one of those things that, like, even though there isn't resolve that you're going to move away from. I'm looking at the Five of Wands and the Four of Wands, so it looks even like some sort of regression here. So, the Four of Wands speaks about unity and harmony, especially the harmony you feel with another person, within a close personal relationship. To have the Five of Wands before that speaks about some type of unrest, is the word that I'm getting. I'm also looking at the hanged man here, which means that there could be something that needs a bit of a perspective shift, or is something may have not been completely clear to you, and you are gaining clarity on that. It's like the more you look at this objectively, the more you are going to find, the more answers you are going to find. And I'm seeing even something that you get to the point of realizing. You may be working to compromise with someone. This can be something that starts from within. Like, do you feel unsettled about something? Or a sense of uneasiness? Or internal conflict? about a relationship and there could have been something that maybe you weren't seeing before but because the hanged man is here and the six of wands follows it looks like maybe you took time to think about something to understand something better and maybe even understand like where this was coming from because I'm kind of seeing this conflict be even at the root of a relationship at the foundation at the basis of it and there may have been something that you needed to see. And I'm seeing like, because you took the time, it looks like you came out with answers even. Now I'm also seeing the Eight of Pentacles next to the Fool here.
So there's something that you've been investing, investing your energy into. I'm seeing that the Eight of Pentacles, which is about like putting the time and energy into something, working on something, consistently trying to like get better at something that you're practicing. And it looks like it's related to the Fool, which could be something new that you're doing. It could be something that even related to the mind frame that you're in, like even a learning curve that you're working with. And then I'm seeing the devil and the nine of pentacles follow. So we're looking at Neptune, Uranus, Capricorn, and Gemini. The way that you had been entering into relationships before could have been like an old familiar pattern and you may be working to break out of that pattern that like you had grown accustomed to or it had been something that was modeled for you or even like something challenging within your birth chart that led to like maybe even imbalances within your interpersonal relationships. This can even be something based off of even codependency potentially with the devil. Especially with the devil next to the hanged man. Because this can be like avoiding seeing certain things that like blatantly need to be seen or are blatantly the issue and wanting to be like, okay, let's sweep this under the rug and not recognize it. And something could have been going on that like emotionally ended up weighing on you and affecting your relationship. So now, as your eyes are opening up to something that you needed to see, that was even like at the core of a relationship that you had with somebody, and maybe this was also something that played out in other relationships you have. I'm looking at the lovers, I'm looking at the three of swords, I'm looking at the two of swords. So it looks like uh, within a close partnership that you have, there's something within the heart chakra that needed to be addressed and then a decision needed to be made thereafter. I do keep getting the notion of like something may be kept being put off, but only because you may not have been ready to see it yet. And now you may be open to seeing something and then because you're open to seeing it, it's something that you can recognize. It's something that you can address. It's something that you can work on. And we're ending with two twos. So it looks like some decision making is going to be done in relation to a partnership something can no longer be put off anymore because you're giving yourself the um hearing space and time to recognize what you needed to recognize going on within the heart chakra it's leading to you to get to the point of being able to execute a decision and i'm seeing you even making a plan maybe like prior to executing something so this can be something mentally that you're coming to terms with and being like, okay, I need to make a decision. I think this is the way that I'm going to go. And now how am I going to go about doing that? It looks even like something had been bothering you and you were like, I want to get to the bottom of this. I want to understand this better related to a close interpersonal relationship, a partnership. And maybe whether or not you wanted to take a chance on something whether or not you wanted to wipe the slate clean. So this looks like somebody that you had already been dealing with. And now there's a sense of potential renewal here. I'm hearing unlocked.
with the with the hanged man next to the devil it feels very much like there could have been an innate problem within the relationship that it does feel like not in the past you hadn't been ready to recognize something that needed to be recognized that was an issue at the core that was an issue at the foundation but when you get to the point of being ready to see this and make a decision based off of the knowledge that you gain within the time that you spend reflecting you come out in a place where you are ready to take action is this like a revisit from the past with someone to go over the signs again I'm looking at Neptune, Uranus, Capricorn, and Gemini. Neptune is Pisces, Uranus is Aquarius. So something is potentially being resolved here. But it could have been like even off limits to you mentally until you were ready to see something that you needed to see. Even like the nature of a dynamic that you had with someone. Now I'm looking at the Wheel of Fortune. And the Emperor. I'm hearing both Karmic Plan and also Karmic Test. You're being guided to think very clearly about the moves that you're going to make and strategize using your divine masculine energy. So this is like combining all of the kings and taking action with like that grand sense of balance, especially like with the knowledge that you have now. Because it even looks like there was something something big that you learned. And now you can finally do something with that knowledge. Part of yourself that wants to impulsively jump into something, maybe because you feel a connection or an attraction to, to it, to the thing, to the person, whatever this is for you. I'm seeing like, is something even holding you back from taking action, even though you recognize already like a connection or like a way that you want to go about doing something. And it looks like this part of your impulsive nature you are now getting the opportunity to like rework the way that you go about doing something approaching something going after something this can also be reworking a, a certain type of energy that you allow into your life as well and like maneuvering in a different way um, with that energy because I'm seeing there be a sense of like wanting to take your time and not wanting to allow your impulses to get the best of you. There's something about being, again, being aware of this part of yourself that at times may want to jump into things and being like, we need to temper this. Like, I don't want to move too quickly here. And with the death card, I am seeing a very big change next to the Knight of Wands something that you are going about creating i'm also hearing recreating seeing even something that you're doing in steps It seems like you're even questioning why you want what you want, 
within this scenario. It looks like transit wise is something has is something that may have been paused before the play button has been pushed and I'm seeing you like weighing your options here and being like I know I need to ground I know I need to center prior to taking action because I want to do this as strategically as possible and you are also recognizing the power that you have within this situation and maybe this wasn't something that you felt before but because of like really analyzing yourself and how you're going about doing this and also like recognizing how effective you can be, I'm seeing you feel like more comfortable and more in charge here than you had been before. And it looks too like you're aware that something is a test. So I don't know if it's about... There are two things that this can be about. It can either be like your own impulsive nature and how you are approaching somebody, or it can be how you are allowing an individual to come through and approach you if you're even going to do that. Because I'm seeing like even a barrier or a wall that you have. So it's like rather than allowing the Knight of Wands to like rush right through, I'm seeing like a barrier. So the Knight of Wands has to go through something like in order to get to the other side. And there's a notion of knowing that the Knight of Wands needs to like rework his agenda, I'm even hearing. So this can be like, you could have had somebody in your life before and the way that things played out, you didn't particularly enjoy the dynamic that you had. And you're like, you know what, if you're going to be back in my life, things have to be different than they were before because like we're not going to do that same thing. So I'm seeing a very big change with the Scorpio energy. And this is the transition that I'm seeing. So the Knight of Wands, the Death card, which is like a transformation or a transition, and then the Knight of Pentacles. So it does seem like somebody is going about changing the way that they are approaching a situation. If this is somebody coming in, like maybe they approached you a certain way in the past and now they're approaching you differently, you may not be completely sold on this with the Eight of Swords. It may be something that you still feel unsure about or hesitant about even. Because you could feel like this person may be... Maybe manipulating their energy to appeal to you and that could be something that you're weary of because you're like, is that authentic? Is that really you? Or are you just doing this maybe to get on my good side? It looks even like emotionally you're being tested to see how you're going to respond. It looks like this is also an opportunity for you to re-manifest something. And I don't know if this same person is going to be involved in what you're re-manifesting. But in a way, it looks like you may be undoing something to redo it. And maybe like set it up so it's more so in alignment with you. You may feel a little bit dubious of like a new way that you're doing something. How you're processing emotionally and how you're taking action based off of that. 
I'm seeing like something specifically be a challenge. Now, I want to know why the Knight of Pentacles is next to the Five of Swords. I'm going to get some more detail. Right now, I'm looking at Jupiter, Aries, and Scorpio. There's something about, I'm getting like mismatched, crisscrossed. I'm seeing one person's energy not be ready to be a team player, not be ready to compromise, not be ready to like look out for the other person. And then I'm seeing like another energy over here. And it's somebody that's like working on their boundaries emotionally taking their time to make decisions, feeling like they're in a space of stability and also that that's what they can offer another person. Even in a generous sense. But the person that may be on the receiving end of this, like whatever this other energy is, it's somebody that may take advantage of that. Because you see how the Knight of Pentacles, and this is why it looks like you're facing some sort of challenge right now. You see how the Knight of Pentacles is making an offer, but it's going to the Five of Swords. It may be somebody that like maybe you wish to be working with this person or to collaborate with this person or have a certain type of dynamic with them however there's like some sort of anxiety or overthinking that's happening or like worry that you're feeling or fear that you're feeling based off of like i'm hearing the energetic blueprint of this person that you're dealing with And this may have been something that you recognized. It's like no matter what you give to this person, they're still they're still not in an energy where like they're not ready to receive. I'm hearing not in an equal capacity. So it's like something would be out of balance with this person. And I'm seeing you even be more reserved, but still wanting to come through where you would potentially be offering something to this person. But this is the type of vibe of someone like taking this and running with it and maybe not doing what's agreed upon. So you could even like generously be offering something to this person. Um, but they're not necessarily trying to form a union with you. There's still like some, some game, something that they're playing. And definitely I'm not seeing this person be in a place where they're ready to be emotionally vulnerable. And I'm seeing you very much in a place where you're emotionally vulnerable, but I'm seeing you also be like guarded, particularly in relation to this person for good reason. And maybe you were even hoping that this person had changed. 
but I'm seeing something about their character even that would be revealed over time to you. And I'm getting like, this is not the first time that you've had this sort of interaction with this person either. And even though you may be cautious, there still may be like more boundaries that are necessary. I do very much get the feeling of like, if you offer this person something that they may very much take advantage. Like there's potentially even a lack of empathy or understanding of your feelings on their end. You may even be trying to figure out whether or not things are finished like if they've come full circle enough for you to actually like pick up and walk away from this i'm feeling a strong sagittarius moon energy here and this does feel a lot like what's going on on the emotional front too for some of you sag rising also not that if you have another Sag placement, you won't resonate with this, but I'm definitely picking those energies up strongly. So if you decide that you've seen enough and you're actually done with this, I'm seeing that you're going to be like closing the chapter with this person, focusing on your stability and going in a new direction. Even like investing your time and energy in a new direction, it looks like something like away from this person, which is where you're being guided, it looks like. To go over the signs again, I'm looking at Jupiter, Aries, Mercury, Scorpio. So for those of you that this was like somebody returning I'm hearing into your sphere, like maybe into your energetic field. You may have been like, okay, well, let's see where this person is. Like, have they grown? Have they changed? And after like interacting with them and even like maybe offering them something little or exchanging with them a little bit. It's like you see that they are still in the place that they were in before when you were having all those problems with them when you guys were together. Because I'm even seeing something that like you were attempting to... I'm hearing withdraw. I'm also hearing reconnect. And there was a sense of being like, I wonder if we can wipe the slate clean or not. Now I feel like I have more perspective of stuff that I wasn't seeing before. And I'm now going to make a decision based off of that. And that decision could have been to maybe see how things would go with this person. But you may have been let down because rather than them maybe having evolved in the way that you had hoped you may see that they are still very much in a place where they're not going to get vulnerable with you. They're still like in survival mode, very much so. I'm seeing a little puppy here with the Ten of Pentacles. You may have stuff going on like in your life now that's different than the last time you had connected with this person. Like a sense of stability that maybe you didn't have before. Stuff that you care about like protecting and building now. Not that you didn't have stuff that you cared about protecting and building before. But it seems like you may even have like more of a foundation or more of a sense of stability. And you may feel more comfortable being like, okay, we're going to let this rest and I'm going to continue forward rather than continuing to delay my storyline for this person. Because you may be like, well, they're not shaping up. And why am I going to put my life on hold for them? And as you decide to 
pursue this direction that you're choosing to go in you know that it's also something that's going to take time to unfold but i'm seeing that even be an exciting thing it's almost like you planted seeds and you're waiting to see what's going to come to fruition now and like the sense of abundance that's going to blossom for you This person may also be attracted to you because of like what you've created and what you've built for yourself. Like I'm seeing your status be the Ten of Pentacles. So I'm seeing there be like a sense of foundation and security around you. And I'm getting to that um, like this person somehow affects this maybe like in a negative way, like in, in an undesirable way. And I'm seeing them also be in a place where they're not ready to be honest with you. And I think that maybe something that you're recognizing more than you had been before, or even something that you're like ready to address in a way that you hadn't been before. And it looks even like you call something out, have a conversation with somebody I'm looking at the King of Pentacles and I'm seeing you as the King of Swords, like talking about something that was going on or something even that you were seeing. Maybe even something sneaky that you saw in this person's end. And then I'm seeing there be like a break or a separation and it looks like you actually move on because you're like emotionally what I'm looking for. I'm not finding it here because I am seeing somebody that like they're not. They're not ready to be in the light yet. They're not ready to be honest with you. And so there's such a lack of intimacy here with this person because they don't want to be seen. And there's a sense of like feeling that and knowing that and being ready to call that out with this person. And then being like, this is not something that I'm going to carry over with me into this chapter that I'm in. And I'm actually going to leave this behind completely. I don't need this anymore. And I'm seeing you make the move to move away. And maybe you feel like this was what you needed emotionally to get to the point of in order to make this decision. It's like something finally sank in for you. It feels like a big sense of acceptance. And I'm just looking at Saturn here, so looks even like a big karmic lesson that you learned with this person Sag all right my friends we are going to leave the reading here I would like to thank everybody for joining thank you for tuning in I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing and I hope to catch you guys next time